Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Chicago. And today our question comes to us from Red Dragon. And Red Dragon asks what kind of America I see in the future and whether the pagan movement has a role to play in this. And this is an interesting question for me because I've recently written a number of pieces on the subject of Armageddonism. The idea of a horrible dark future where everything ends because of our horrible bad nature. And you see Armageddonism not only in a number of different religions, but also uh, a number of social movements. And I really have very little patience with it. Uh, I would say that the America I see in the future is a better place. A place where people have more freedom, more equality, and more access uh, to the good things of life, and where those things are in greater abundance. And what do we need to get there? We need a number of things, and we have to do our part. We need to apply ourselves to it, we need to be willing to work, we need to be willing to think outside of the box and come up with new ideas, because that's how problems are solved. And we as pagans also need to think in terms of magic and manifestation. One of the reasons that I really feel Armageddonism has no place in the modern Western pagan movement, and I do state it that way, is because we do believe in magic and manifestation. And when you believe that, how can you possibly think that the future is going to be a horrible place unless you're not doing your magic and manifestation. So I would say uh, that the thing that we need to do is to create the future we want to see, to be the change we want to see, and to make sure that change happens. And I feel that if we don't have a bright future, we have no one to blame for it but ourselves. Now going back to how I see that future, I really would like to see people able to become whatever they want to become in life if they're willing to work for it. I would like to see that not only in uh, America, but around the world. And I think we are seeing this. I think that the last century has tremendously moved forward in these very ways. And I see no reason the current century should not do so, as long as we ourselves continue to push in that direction, and hopefully many other people as well. So I hope that answers your question, and until next time, may you blessed be. Ha! Uh -huh.